And now a correction to a story we ran last week. Prince Charles is actually the one in the middle. So we... We apologize for that. For the first time ever, two brothers will be facing off against each other in the Super Bowl. Incidentally, two brothers in the Super Bowl is why my grandfather won't be watching. <laughs> February, man. Wow. The U.S. Surgeon General is warning that children are joining social media at too young an age and they should wait until they're at least 16 when they're hotter. <laughs> Pope Francis ended a Vatican summit by promising the Catholic Church would confront the clergy sex abuse head on instead of their usual way, face down, ass up. <laughs> Warner Brothers is producing a new movie in which Superman is black. And a black Superman actually makes a lot of sense when you remember that Superman was abandoned by his parents as a baby. <laughs> <laughs> <Lord and Lord. laughs> 130 years after the Civil War, the state of Mississippi has finally voted to abolish slavery. Representatives say they would have liked to have done it sooner, but uh, they were delayed due to some awfully big cotton crops. They had to, had some, some kind of big cotton thing. All right. A woman in Arizona gave birth to a 14 pound baby boy. So now Arizona has two Grand Canyons. <laughs> it's a mad joke. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't get it. Oh my God. Well, I knew you'd like that one, so here's another one. <laughs> Warner Brothers is producing a new movie in which Superman is black. In this version, black Superman's kryptonite is an honest day's work. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Researchers say the number of gray whales off Western North America has continued to decline for several years. It's a sad fact that makes me wonder if whale oil is really the best way to give my hair this amazing volume. <laughs> Muslim student at a high school in California was upset after the school yearbook falsely printed her name as ISIS. While the yearbook also mistakenly identified their only Asian student as Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> Fisher Price has launched an online museum showcasing its toys over the past 90 years. Or you can see them in person at America's most famous toy museum, the Neverland Ranch. <laughs> an obese monkey in Thailand named Godzilla has been sent to a special facility to lose weight. Official realized the monkey was overweight when a bunch of black guys kept hitting on it. <laughs> Racist, Carl. <laughs> British version of RuPaul's Drag Race will begin airing next year on the BBC. And because it's England, their penises will be tucked to the right side. Uh, I'm worried about this one now. An auction of Nazi memorabilia was held, which featured items such as Hitler's top hat and Ava Braun's dress. And it's tough to auction off Nazi memorabilia because everyone always looks like they're bidding. <laughs> Wow. I liked it. The group advocating replacing Andrew Jackson on the $20 bill with a woman announced that the winner of the poll for the new face of the currency is Harriet Tubman. It's a move that could have racists all over saying, can I get that in tens? <laughs> this week marks the 65th anniversary of Rosa Parks refusing to give up her seat on an Alabama bus. And I just wish that all black people could follow her example of sitting down and shutting up. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> PLO leader Yasser Arafat announced this week that his wife is pregnant. The happy couple said they really don't care if the child is a boy or a girl, just as long as it hates Jews. <laughs> Police in Ohio say that a report of a homeless man sleeping on a bench turned out to be a statue, which was a huge relief because they shot it 15 times. <laughs> 
A new report shows that female doctors over the course of their careers make $2 million less than men. Oh, that's just not right. I mean, female doctors? <laughs> Elon Musk took over Twitter. Use of the N-word on the site has reportedly jumped 500%. It's the biggest increase in the use of the N-word since the last time I stubbed my toe. country dropped the, car the cartoon strip Dilbert after creator Scott Adams said he chose to live in a community where no black people live. So he lives in your building, huh, Colin? <laughs> <laughs> it was announced that for the first time ever, Disney parks will feature black Santa Clauses, unfortunately as part of the Villains Parade. <laughs> that Puerto Rico's only zoo is closing after years of alleged animal neglect. Worse, the zoo is closing is being advertised as all you can eat. <laughs> the makers of Barbie have introduced the first ever Barbie with hearing aids. It teaches an important lesson. It doesn't matter if you're deaf as long as that body banging. <laughs> Police are being invest investigated after video surfaced of them using excessive force on a homeless black man accused of urinating in public. But I say great, more, great work keeping our streets clean, boys. <laughs> yes, sir. Anything the police do is all right with old Mikey Che. Four Wisconsin men have been charged with felony hate crimes after burning a man's buggy simply because he was Amish. If convicted, the men face up to 25 years in prison, but furious Amish leaders say that is not enough. They want the dunking wheel. <laughs> As this year's award season gets underway, there's growing movement to get rid of the gendered categories of best actor and best actress, and instead call them best actor and best actor who got paid less. <laughs> A new study finds that despite women making less money than men, more single women in the U.S. own homes than single men, thanks to a phenomenon economists call divorce. <laughs> what is divorce? The U.S. men's soccer team failed to qualify for the Olympics for the third time in a row. But fellas, keep your heads up and remember that win or lose, you will always get paid more than the women's team. At this year's election, a record-setting 12 states will have female governors, while, while the other 38 states will have dinner ready on time. 